Oh, I love that we have this center that's focused on machine learning. It's just, I really think that machine learning is one of the crucial areas of development in computing science, and then computing science is everywhere. It's going to impact everything we do in ways we can't even imagine now. Uh, people mostly think uh, we might be a little bit crazy, and they always wonder what those two words, machine and learning, put together, but it's data analytics in another area, it would be called that, or predictive analytics, or it's called sophisticated statistical inference, or, or data mining, or all other kinds of things. What it boils down to is taking massive volumes of data, compressing it, using a vocabulary that someone who can take a decision can understand enough to make right decisions more often, more quickly. Uh, the drive-through impact of machine learning is probably immediately arising from the application of, say, simple classification and clustering methods to health data. So one example of a project is looking at brain tumors, now looking at magnetic resonant images of a patient's brain who has a tumor. We have a tool right now <coughs> that can look at these slices and figure out where the tumor is located. That's a pretty challenging task in some places. The current practice <coughs> is to find this tumor location and then irradiate and kill the cells two centimeters around it. Um, unfortunately, that's neither necessary nor sufficient. That doesn't kill all the cancer cells, and that kills more cells, but kills non-cancer cells as well. It'd be better if we can predict not just where the tumor is right now visible, but also these radiographically occult cells, which you can't see. We have a tool that can predict that as well. Um, would it have happened without the center? Oh, sure, but it wouldn't have happened as quickly. It wouldn't happen as effectively. We wouldn't have as thorough and comprehensive a set of results. We wouldn't be able to bounce ideas off each other and make the progress we've made in a whole world of different applications. There's a lot of synergy. There's a lot of times when I wish I understood more about convex optimization because I needed to solve this problem with brain tumors. And I know a little bit about it, but there's people like Dale Schumann, who's a world-class expert, just down the hall. Or I wish I understood <coughs> online you know, sequential processing is better. And I know a little bit about it, but these other guys know it a lot more. And they're, they're all in the same place. They're all within one floor above. It's going to be so crucial for the future of our economy to get kids interested and focused on the sciences and just that our whole economy, our whole culture is moving towards a knowledge base. And it's going to be crucial for us to remain competitive that we focus on that. The impact of information technology the opening up of robotics and artificial intelligence and what that'll mean for our industries. The revolution in biology as biology changes from being all about bugs and microbes to being more about uh, information technology in the way that engineering systems work. This is going to open up a whole new world of uh, indus industry, medical and environmental uh, benefits. And all those benefits are going to be brought to the fore only by um, companies working in the economy and only by companies that employ Albertans in new types of jobs that's going to create a new future. Same kind of pioneering spirit that's always driven this province forward. We just figure out the thing that needs doing and use ingenuity to work out how to do it and that becomes our future.